The best way you can support me is with a simple subscribe. Subscribe to my channel for more content like this. All right, Mr. Telefero TV, how's everybody doing now? For those who don't know, I told you I keep you guys up to date. Um, Leangelo Ball and company, these three UCL late players who were initially charged, uh, I believe it was like suspicion. I don't even know how you charge somebody with suspicion, but we know the story. These three guys uh, allegedly robbed uh, from a Louis Vuitton store uh, and a couple other stores, right? I think it was a total of three or four shows, stores that they um, were caught robbing from. The problem is they did it in China, right? You do that in America, you get a tap on the hand and you can move on. You do that in China, they might cut your damn arms off. Literally, they have a 99% conviction rate, all right? UCLA had a, their first game over there and these dudes was just feeling entitled, I guess. I don't know if I could be sympathetic for three guys, not because they stole from one store. We all make mistakes. Who am I to judge? But when you go as to uh, steal from three stores, that sounds a little bit premeditated to me. And I'm having a hard time uh, feeling very sympathetic for these three young men. Now, they are back in the United States as of today. And we got to give credit where credit is due. One reason why they are back is because of the services of your president and chief, Donald Trump, who sat down uh, with some big time China officials for dinner. And he said, look, we got to get our boys back, right? You know, they made a mistake. We got to get our boys back. We got to have them back. Now, I might add to you guys that these three guys have been suspended by uh, the coaching staff at UCLA indefinitely. That could be they only get suspended for a game or maybe a year. We don't know. Right, it's an indefinite suspension, and Coach Steve Alford said these brothers are going to earn their spots back on this team. Now, I thought this was interesting. Donald Trump tweeted this out today. This is your president, ladies and gentlemen. Your president tweeted out, do you think these three UCLA basketball players will say, thank you, President Trump? They were heading to jail for 10 years, right? Who, look, man, I'm going to break this down the best way I can. Is Donald Trump right? Were these brothers heading to 10 years in jail? They were they were going to get three to 10 if the number of, of, of items that they stole, the price value on the items reached a certain number. Just like over here, you know, you can get a misdemeanor for stealing a certain amount. Or if you stole upwards of a certain amount, you might get a felony. Again, it just depends on the number. All right? And uh, thankfully, these brothers, I think their charges were dropped completely. Trump pulled a string. And he got it out, out, dropped completely. Now, I will say this. I don't like us pulling strings with different countries or, or, or diff, you know, different countries and stuff like that for strings of, of that. Like, that is petty. And I want to be able to use the big stuff when somebody's about to bomb somebody, right? Um, but in regards to Donald Trump's tweet, I don't think he needed to say that. Is he right? Yes. Those brothers do need to tell Donald Trump, thank you, 100%. Let me make that clear. I don't like Donald Trump. Let's make that clear. I don't really care for him at all. Y'all seen some of my videos in the past. But those brothers do owe Trump uh, a thank you or whatever you want to say or an apology as well. But why you got to tweet that out, though, Trump? You are not running a reality television show. You are the president of the United States. All right. Now, one could say, yo, if, you, if you're saying he's not running, he's the president, and he's not running a reality show. He shouldn't have gotten that in the first place, because if these were just three black brothers who weren't high profile players or who didn't have a bigger brother, Leangelo's bigger brother is Lonzo Ball and a dad in LeVar Ball, we wouldn't even be caring. These dudes all would probably be chopped off by now. We wouldn't care. And that's true. Right. And Trump shouldn't have gotten that regardless. Right. That is, that is very true. But I'm just saying, I'd rather you not have to rub every little thing in. And, and I, we get it, Trump. You, you, you did do something big. That is big time. Let's make that clear. And them brothers need to be thankful. And they, and they did, apo they did uh, say thank you to Donald Trump during that press conference. And um, they did. They gave him, they gave him thanks, right? And I, I think they did that uh, because they needed to. And they, they were probably advised to do that. But Trump, you ain't got to tweet that out. It's just in poor choice taste to me. What do you think about your president, Donald Trump, tweeting out that... Uh, you guys, are y'all going to say thank you or what? Like, I helped you out a lot. Talk to me in the comment box below. Thank y'all for the time, love, and support. I don't take it for granted. Salute. I just think it's a little bit out of line, y'all. I'm out. What's going on is yours truly, Mr. Telefero. And if you enjoyed this latest video, whether it's sports, hip-hop, or other culture-related activities, please subscribe to my channel right now. And if you want more from Telefero, you can always subscribe to the React channel for more of your latest reactions and music and sports highlights.